Good morning, folks. Well, good afternoon, actually. Just a few minutes past noon here on the first day of May. And I want to share a couple of stories with you, okay? One of them is about uh, a law firm that I did, that I worked with here in Monta that saved me uh, from possibly going to prison, saved me possible jail time. And this has to do with those clone tickets, the clone license plates, not clone tickets, clone license plates. David B. Laurel, Avogado Law Firm, even though it took a while to get things done, but I found out later that it wasn't his fault. It was just a lot of work to be done to get this problem resolved. So, and then the second thing I want to talk to you about is the sorry <laughs> Sarasota, Florida, that go by the name of my U.S. Shipping. Hey! Oh, Rocket Chick. Hello there. So many of you know about the issue that I had with the clone license plates. So here in Ecuador, apparently there's a business of cloning license plates and what happens is that somebody, I don't know if it's done an inside job at the transit office or I don't know if it's cartel, I have no clue where it starts, but somebody will clone a license plate and they will clone license plates that belong to cars similar to the one you drive. So in my case, I drive a 2023 Southeast, Chinese made Southeast, a white car with a black top and a sunroof. And somebody in Waikil created some license plates that match mine and they put it on a white Chinese made Southeast car in Waikil. In Waikil and the city of Duran and another little town that's in that area, whoever owns or is driving this car that has the same license plates as mine went running through radar zones that's basically all the tickets they were all for speeding and who got the tickets why i got the tickets i had to pay a lawyer david via laurel i'm going to put him all the thing about him in the description here's where here's how you spell his name fantastic lawyer right here in monte he worked his butt off along with other people in his office to try to get this resolved for me. First thing he had to do is he had to fight these tickets and we had to get them dismissed and he did that. But then we, what we had to do is we had to convince the prosecutor down there in Waikil that Don Shader is not driving his car down there. And we had to convince them that there's a clone, there's a car in the area with the same license plate as mine, but they're not legitimate license plates. They're clone license plates. It cost me several hundred dollars to, to file the denuncia, to file all the proper paperwork with the prosecutors, to get all the paperwork filed, to get the prosecutors off my ass. They're still trying, who were trying to collect for these fines. And I was even, I got a little discouraged with the whole process and the whole system because I thought, no, nah, God, nobody's doing anything. Well, that's partially true. David was doing all he could do. He showed me a file that that was thick of all the paperwork associated to my case. But the problem is getting the people in the offices and the different transit offices and the judges and the prosecutors to get them to agree, even after they verify the serial numbers on my car, to, to agree that my car, my license, my registration was all legitimate. So we did. We finally, we won it, we beat it. I now have new plates on my car as of earlier this week. I have to thank David and Angie and the whole staff at over at v, this law firm right here, Via Laurel. It's hard for me to pronounce their name, but it's like Via Laurel. And uh, he does real estate law, traffic tickets law. He beats all these, these photo radar tickets, okay? 
and he's the best in town. So here's all, I'm put all of his information in the description. If you have any problems with any of those items, uh, give him a call, okay? And tell him that I sent you, all right? As you can tell, I switched back to inside. I had to, I, I had to make some changes to the video that I started here. I wanted to stop and tell you about my experience with a shipping company out of Florida. And I was a little harsh and probably used some language that would probably get me in trouble with YouTube. So I decided to redo it. But I want to share an experience that I had with my U.S. shipping. Uh, I'm not very happy with these people. I, I, don't, I don't want to recommend them. I, I only recommend people use services, products and services that I've had experience with. And I feel like it is worth sharing it, and I will do that, and I will, like I did with David B. Laurel, okay? I had an experience, I had some medical supplies that I wanted to bring back with me from the States that were much needed. One was the CPAP machine, one was some specialized bandaging that a heart patient needed for, that he had to put on his change out once a week for a, a, a gentleman that has a, what's called a LVAD left ventricle assist device and it's specialized bandaging that you need. It has to change it out once a week. And so I had like a whole supply of those. I couldn't get, and then I also had a, a part for an oxygen generator that I needed to bring from Mark Bradbury. I couldn't get all that stuff in my baggie. So I ended up putting it in a box and I shipped it to a shipping company in Florida called My US Shipping. This is the, probably the, Third or fourth time I've used them. Uh, I it, it this did not work out well. Uh, the supplies were brought to Ecuador. It got to customs in Waikil, and now they're back on their way back to the United States. Nobody's getting their supplies, all because of I don't know if it's miscommunication between me and my U.S. shipping. The lack of communication, which is very seemed like it's very difficult to try to communicate with them because you can't pick up a phone and call them. You go to their website. I don't. It's, I've never found a phone number. The only way to actually talk to a human being there is if you do it through a chat session on their website. I a lot of this problem had to do with the value that was placed on this thing. They put a value on the CPAP machine. That was astronomical. In my opinion, it was. Maybe it wasn't to them, but I didn't have an invoice for this thing. It's a personally owned device that I brought, but you know, tried to bring back with me for one of my subscribers here in Cuenca. And because, and and we argued. Me and my U.S. shipping argued over what the value of this thing was supposed to be. And they decided that they weren't going to listen to me. They put a value on it and sent it on, and it got stopped at customs. And they wanted enormous taxes, and they wanted a special, a special form, medical form that nobody could tell me where to get it. And it just turned out to be a total disaster. So the parts, I end up having to abandon the shipment. Now they're threatening to to find me. 200 plus dollars for abandoning this shipment because I want to pay f almost $600 in taxes and penalties or whatever it was that Ecuadorian customs wanted to charge me. So a couple of years ago, I gave a friend of mine a gift card for uh, Amazon, $250 gift card or a $200 gift card. She bought $189 worth of arts and crafts supplies. And it's, these were multiple orders. I think there were like seven or eight orders that she placed over a period of a, a few days. I told my U.S. shipping that this stuff was coming and wait until it all got there, ship it all in one box. They didn't do it that way. They didn't want to do it that way. I ended up paying three hundred and thirty four dollars in shipping and no i'm sorry yeah yeah three hundred thirty four dollars in shipping and import fees 
on these packages because my U.S. took it upon themselves to ship them each individual package one at a time. And when I wrote to them and asked them about that and why, they said they only do consolidated shipping for people that pay them a frickin' monthly fee. So I got screwed. I got screwed by them, and I guess I got screwed by my own ignorance. But I'm telling you, folks, I've, try, I've tried to have a decent relationship with my U.S. shipping, and they've done nothing but work against me. I don't recommend them, and I will not recommend them. And that's all I got to say about it. Okay? So that's the end of this video. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, bite me. And I say that with peace and love. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.